she get all those surgeries and she just loves it she just loves her body <laughs> Welcome back to Common Tea. If you want to help support our channel, please hit the subscribe button, like, comment, and share our video. Don't forget to hit the notification bell to get notified every time we upload. Pew! Pew, 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 pew! <laughs> <laughs> We're going to be reacting to I'm having gastric bypass surgery. Trigger warning if you are sensitive to talking about weight loss, surgery, or eating disorders, this is your warning. Oh my gosh, I've sat down to film this now like four times and I am nervous. I'm having a hard time articulating all the things that are on my heart. I'm just going to talk to you guys. I'm just going to talk to you guys because that that's how I started my channel. That's what I built this channel on, just talking to you and being vulnerable with you. So let's be vulnerable. <laughs> um, okay, as you can tell by the title of this, I am having gastric bypass surgery. When you're watching this, I will be in surgery. I didn't post this before the surgery because I didn't want to read a bunch of negative stuff and get in my head about it. I have been working, you know, with my surgery program for the last few months and I didn't want to share it. I don't want so much to say. I don't want to make this channel and all my platforms a weight loss thing. You know, I even regret doing that in the past. I Okay, so one thing I do want to applaud her for is being upfront about her gastric bypass surgery because obviously in the past she hasn't been. This is something that like we mentioned in previous videos, taking accountability for what she does. Yeah. And this is kind of showing that she's made some progress in that direction. You didn't know Alexandra um, before. I don't know if you just started following her, if you've been following her as long as we have, but this is her fourth surgery in regards to weight loss. She had the lap band when she was like 16 or, and then she had liposuction on her chin. And then the most recent, which she's probably most known for is when she had her lower stomach removed and now she's having gastric bypass. Weight loss surgery is not something new for Alex. Before and after is going to make it all about weight because I feel like I'm so much more than that. And that's not something people always want to see. I want to share all the stuff I still love to share, beauty, fashion, my life. But the reason I'm making this video is because it was a huge mistake not sharing my tummy tuck. That was my biggest regret. Um, and I did that out of fear. I'm not going to let that happen again with this because my body most likely will be changing um, relatively rapidly. And you guys deserve to know why that's happening. You guys know I had lap band done 12 years ago when I was 16. I'm 28 now. Um, I had it removed a couple years later. It was awful. I just didn't really do them anymore. Um, but it, it was really rough. It was very uncomfortable and, um, you know, it wasn't sustainable for the long term. And as you guys know, I have struggled with my weight my entire life, my entire life. And something I really want to clarify and drive home here is that I am not having the surgery to look different. I do not care. For the first time in my life, I don't care. I don't care how I look. I finally feel totally comfortable with the way I look. Something interesting that she said at the beginning, she wants to let her viewers know because they're going to notice that she starts losing weight. It makes me think, why did you even say that? <laughs> are you just doing it because we are going to notice and it's going to be like, well, why are you losing 100 pounds in like such a short time? It's also interesting to me that she says that she doesn't care about how she looks. Like she's not doing the surgery for appearance. Like for example, the chin lipo, that's cosmetic 100%. Like that has nothing to do with anything but weight, weight loss, loss and the how you look. Band. Yeah. And how you look. It's completely predictable. I saw her piling on all the weight and I knew right away. I was like, she's going to get some sort of surgery. She has enough money to get resources that many people do not. She has enough resources to get the mental help she needs for any kind of eating disorder. She has enough resources to get a chef at her house to get someone train her physically and she has a home gym there is no excuse for her not to put in the work you know you're gonna hear people say like well surgery is the easy way out and then others say it's not easy have you had it but I think what people are forgetting is Alexandra's pattern of behavior her pattern of behavior is that she does whatever is convenient for her at the time it sounds like this was kind of like a compulsive decision as most of her decisions are or at least what appears to be compulsive impulsive on what she shows on the internet. The people that say, you know, surgery is the easy way out. I agree. I also agree with the people that say surgery is not easy. Have you tried it? And I think what Alex is thinking is that the recovery and the journey that she's going to have after the surgery is going to be easy. And I don't think she realizes that it is actually going to be tough. Alexandra is going to have a hard time with this after her surgery. The surgery might be the easiest part, but the recovery for it is going to be traumatic. People have described it as the darkest time in their life. 
life, especially if they have some sort of eating disorder. Like she has mentioned in past videos that she has a binge eating disorder, which is going to be really hard to overcome once you're not allowed to binge eat. I think this is going to be a mental toll that she doesn't seem ready for. If you see her and maybe like three months ago, her videos, you can tell she's already gained a significant amount of weight just in that short amount of time. And most doctors won't do surgery. I don't know if it was because she was nervous about it that led her to binge eat or a combination of I'm going to get the surgery anyways, who cares? Like I'm just going to eat whatever I want. It could be both. It could be neither. And now she's having this gastric bypass. And I think she doesn't realize the work that she's going to have to do. Um, I completely agree with you. I'm not judging anybody based on whether you get the surgery or not. I've never had that surgery. So I don't know what it's like. Knowing Alex and what she's done in the past, I don't think she's researched this surgery. When she had the lap band and she talked about the lap band, she mentioned how she didn't do enough research. She didn't know that there was things that she couldn't do post-surgery. And this is something that feels very similar to that. She was trying to do intuitive eating and that didn't work for her. She she gained more weight. Intuitive eating isn't necessarily about diet culture per se, but it is about a mindset that she did not have. And you have to have a good relationship with food to be able to intuitive eat because you're not using your emotions to eat. But when you are an emotional eater, you're going to use your emotions to eat and you're going to eat whatever you want whenever you want. And just because, you know, you feel sad, you're going to eat. You feel happy, you're going to eat. Feel bored, you're going to eat. We already know that that was a fail. So far, she hasn't even talked about the fact that she tried that and didn't work for her. So we'll see if she even gets into it at all. But I mean, knowing her, she probably won't because she wants the least amount of criticism possible. Dress cute. I think I look cute, but I am not doing good. Over the last year, I've started to develop really bad lower back pain, knee pain and ankle pain. And that's something that I've never felt before. And that was a huge reality check for me when, you know, Yara and I were talking about starting a family. And I thought to myself, I'm like, I, I can't. I mean, like, I could, but I don't think I would be comfortable. I honestly don't think I would feel good at all carrying a child, like with the lower back pain and the knee pain that I've been feeling. And that was a huge, huge moment for me. I'm like, I think I need to put my health first. And it's a sacrifice. It's a huge sacrifice because ultimately we're both ready to be parents. Like we feel it in our hearts, like we want a baby. You're not able to try for a baby until a year after gastric bypass, even to try. So having to put that on hold was a really, really, really hard decision. But I know I need to get some of this excess weight off me because I'm just not, I'm not feeling good anymore. Alexander does a good job of not letting you speak your mind. You know, people have already commented things on these videos that she's posted recently and she's already deleted comments. So this is an open space for people to have open speech about what's going on here. The fact that she's deleting comments, that just tells you that she's not 100% authentic. She doesn't like criticism. But I have a feeling that she's going to lose weight at the beginning. She's going to lose a lot of weight. Eventually, it's going to pile back on. Your eating disorder will always be there unless you work through it. Like, do you guys think that this is her answer? She's going to lose all this weight and she's going to keep it off. She's going to be healthy. And she's going to be thriving. I don't think it's going to last. I hate to say that for her, but this is coming from a pattern of her old history with weight loss. We want the best for Alex. We really want her to thrive and succeed and this be it. But it's just, we can see this as a cycle that's been going on for years since she was a teenager. She's been getting surgeries and they haven't been working. When is it going to be enough? It's all about health for me. You know, I did WW last year. So last year at this point, I don't even know. I lost 50 in fact 70 i'm just exhausted also she said she lost 30 and now all of a sudden she lost 50 and you are bigger than you've ever been there's no way that's a 20 pound difference why can't she just be honest she already told us she lost 30 pounds and now it's 50 she lost 50 pounds and you're just lied again i'm sure if there's any comments about that she's deleted them already she doesn't like people calling out her stuff and that's why we started this channel <laughs> exactly and i know a major part of my family has had gastric bypass and had great results. I know a big, I know a lot of people, not only that a lot of it for me is genetic. Um, I recently figured out from a doctor that one of the medications I've been on for the last couple of years contributed to the weight gain or making it harder to lose weight. And I'm not trying to make excuses, but I definitely believe these are contributing factors. But at the end of the day, whenever, I don't feel I think it's bullshit that she says it's genetic because when she started her YouTube channel, she put in the work. She was going to the gym. She was eating healthy, even though we know she doesn't like eating healthy, but she was eating well. She lost so much weight and now all of a sudden it's genetics and that's why she can't lose weight. Alex, diet and exercise works because you showed us it worked. And you know, the funny part is she never said, I'm overweight because I eat too much. I overeat. I make the wrong choices. No accountability there when it comes to overeating. She's not even 30 and she's already had four surgeries pertaining to weight loss. I don't expect or care or want to come out of this skinny. 
I just want to be the healthiest and happiest Alex I can be. Do you think she likes being overweight? Because I can tell you that most people do not like being overweight. Why does she Photoshop her photos if she likes it? Why does she hide her double chin if she likes it? Why does she remove her fupa? Why did she get liposuction on her chin? Yeah, why does she do these things? She does care. She does want to be thin. She's tired of being overweight. She's uncomfortable in her own skin. You can still love yourself and not like that you're overweight. We know you don't like it because of your actions. Your words really mean nothing. But I'm done with the battle. I just, I'm done with the battle. I'm sick of not feeling good. Um, and being in this program the last few months has, you know, prepped me for this. There's been so much, you know, behind the scenes, a lot of doctor appointments, um, a lot, just a ton of appointments. It's, it's definitely a journey. I um, didn't document it because it was a lot. And I also just didn't want to force all of that on you guys. But I did know I needed to sit down and make this video and have an honest conversation so you guys would understand where I'm coming from, my thought process, why I'm doing What about the overeating? What about making bad food choices? What about not exercising? What about having a home gym and never using it? Does that have anything to do with your weight gain at all? Are you going to tell us that or you're just going to say that it's genetics? Nothing is going to change here. Um, you know, I will be recovering for a few weeks. Uh, so I will probably be vlogging as I recover. If that will be triggering to you, I completely understand. Um, we skip out to vlogmas. I'm hoping to be recovered by vlogmas. I was really excited that it kind of just fell in a way where I would be getting my surgery in November and recovered by December because of vlogmas, baby. <laughs> um, she planned this around vlogmas. She's thinking like, oh, I'm going to be recovered by the time vlogmas comes around. The only reason she's so excited about vlogmas is two reasons. One, it's her birthday. Secondly, that's when the money comes in. That's when they get the most AdSense for YouTube. And I'm really, really, really excited for vlogmas. And, you know, I've had so much fear. I mean, I've struggled with for a long time, the gaining weight and like getting criticized online. And I, I really felt bad about myself for a while. And it's hard because I feel like I'm finally in a good place with my body in terms of my appearance, but I don't. So now she's saying that she loves the way she looks, but she doesn't like the way she physically feels health wise. This is what she's trying to say. She does not love the way she looks. She get all those surgeries and she just loves it. She just loves her body. <laughs> Do you know her channel would, would exponentially grow if she was truthful and actually told us that she was insecure and that she, she was trying to learn to love her body. And that's the learning to be fearless part that really people were attracted to when she first started the channel. If she did that, she would have so many more subscribers. You're gaining weight so quickly and you love it. That's hard. And honestly, it's a weird limbo I'm in right now. It's a weird limbo I'm filming this. Like, oh, I feel sick just even talking about. Like, I always want to be your big sister role model who's bigger in size and confident. And I want you guys to feel that too. So I hope you guys always remember that you're beautiful just as you are. But at the end of the day, it is your body. It's your choice what you want to do with it. And I just, I got to do this for me to take care of me. I'm ready for change and to feel better. So I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I said everything I want to say. I've been, I've literally been thinking about this video for so long. So I will see you guys. I really think that she is afraid that she's going to lose her subscribers because she's not relatable to the overweight community. community. You know, she would be relatable if she was honest and saying she doesn't like that she's overweight. What do you guys think is going to be Alex's journey after the surgery? Do you think it's going to go well? Do you think it's going to be rough? Do you think that she's going to be successful long term? Tell us down below and we'll talk to you next time. Let us know what you think about that drama down below. Please don't forget to subscribe, like this video and share it. Turn on the notification bell and we'll talk to you soon. Bye. Bye.